Hi everybody, this is Steve from Next Technologies here. And this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use and operate the smart features on the new NVR 5.0. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So right now let's go over line crossing. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line down the center of the screen. And as you can see here, the direction shows A to B. This means if I'm in section A and cross over into section B, this is going to create an alarm. However, if I'm in section B and cross over to section A, this is not going to create an alarm. And you can do vice versa. For section B to A. So now we reverse the line so that if I'm in section B and go over to section A, this will create an alarm. But if I'm in section A and go over to section B, this will not create an alarm. And there's also A and B. This means if I'm in either section and cross the line either way, it will create an alarm. I'm going to give you a quick example of how this is going to work. With the line crossing feature, you can have multiple line crossings with multiple rules. To do this, you can go to rule number two and you can draw an additional line. And we'll leave this one A to B. You can then go to rule number three and draw an additional line. And we'll leave that as B to A. You can go to rule number four and draw an additional line. This means that with multiple lines and multiple rules, anything that violates a rule to any line will create an alarm. In addition, there is a sensitivity option for bigger objects crossing the line and smaller objects crossing the line. So if you would like to have the line trip for smaller things such as animals, you can put the sensitivity right up to 100. And if you want only for a trip, the alarm to trip on very large objects such as vehicles, you can put the sensitivity between 1 and 10. The next smart event feature is regional intrusion. In regional intrusion, you can draw four points around an object to protect that object. And you can use it for things like uh, drawing a, a box around a car or an exit door, entrance door, or even an entire building. And as soon as somebody enters over into this area, it's going to create an alarm. I'm going to do a quick example and show you how this works. You can also set multiple rules for regional intrusion and draw different types of shapes as well to match what you need to protect. You can also adjust the sensitivity for smaller or larger objects to make the alarm trip. The next smart event is loitering. If somebody is in a specific area and they stay there for too long, you can also create an alarm from there. So we'll draw 
a square around a specific area. And as you can see here, there are, that is rule one. You can draw up to four different areas, just as in you could with the line crossing and regional intrusion. And you can also set a sensitivity and a time threshold. In this case, for this example I'm about to do, I'm gonna stand there for one minute to create an alarm. The next smart event is people gathering. For people gathering, you can create an alarm if there's a specific number of people in a specific area. So for this example, I have my proportion set to five, which is allowable for two people. I'm gonna draw a square around this area and have two people here in my example to create an alarm. Another smart function, and one of my favorites, is this facial detection feature. To enable facial detection, you can go to the smart events section here and make sure under detection mode you have face detection on. When you go into live view, enable the face detection by checking the box with the face. Then whenever a face comes into a picture, it'll take a photo and it'll store this photo in a database. Every time a person walks by, whether they're moving still or just running really fast through the photo, it's going to zoom in whether they're close up or far away. Even if they're very far away, it'll zoom right into their face and take a snapshot of a close up of their face. When they store in the database, what happens is if you need to pull up historic footage of a certain person, all you have to do is find their face in the database under human files, search for them. And then what you can do is you can play the footage of this person. This feature is really good because then it saves you a lot of time of looking through a lot of footage if you're only looking for the activity of one person. Also, what you can do is because it has a face comparison feature, the recording device already knows who that person is. So if you wanna pull up all the footage of one person, you can easily do that by clicking on their face and telling the NVR to grab all the footage of that specific person and everything it has on that person will be pulled up. And then you can review all the footage of that person. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.